Hey everyone, on this week's Adagio TV, we are going to be trying to shoot an entire episode on the iPhone 4. Fourth of July, guys. What's up? Hey everyone, as I said before, um, welcome to this week's edition of Adagio TV. I'm your host, Zach Louie, and this, my friends, is the absolute first time that I am shooting Adagio TV on or around the iPhone 4. Uh, as you can see, I'm on location shooting for work, and I thought it would be super fun to uh, take a break from the hefty work schedule, and I'm shooting with this big camera crane, things are fun. Um, I thought it'd be fun to take a break and review this tea. I know the 4th of July was a few days ago, but this, the, the sentiment still rings pretty true in the hearts of, in the minds of many around this fountain and shopping center that I'm at today. So why not try a 4th of July blend? I can say this, I don't like it hot. This is one of those teas that's got a lot of herbal properties in it. It's a nice berry aspect, a really, really strong, crazy, fruity herbal proponent. In the flavor color wheel, I would say that this ranges somewhere around I don't want to drink every single day. I'm curious because I think this would be good iced. Iced, maybe steeped a little shorter. But something like this, you can steep it normally as long as you want, but you don't want to make any kind of green tea aspect bitter. So if you're blending green with one of these blends, be safe with it. Um, the, the berry proponent is way too strong for me. It's just way too strong. Now, like I said, this is just the way I taste. Some people may really, really enjoy this. Is it making me feel happy for America? Yes, yes it is. It's, uh, I can taste the red, the white, and the blue somewhere inside of it. I like the fact that I'm uh, enjoying it even though I don't like it. I think that may just be because of the patriotic sentiment. Like I said, I don't really like the way it tastes. If this were iced, yeah, maybe a little bit of sugar to take away from that natural sweetness because it comes on, sometimes natural sweetness can be really pungent. I don't know that really makes a lot of sense, but maybe ice it, chill it out with some sugar in the raw or some cane sugar or something like that, just some crystals or something, I think would be probably the best idea. But in this case, um, not my cup of tea. If you guys would like to reach me, you can find me at zacheditizer.com. All your tea questions, all your tea submissions. I just got a really, really cool one uh, in the email inbox yesterday that I'm really excited about reviewing in the coming weeks. Um, so keep your summer teas coming in. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, it's just uh, we're hanging out. You can see what we're doing at twitter.com slash Tees, twitter.com slash Zach Louie. And I know that last week you saw me in Las Vegas, and this week you saw me in front of a fountain and a bunch of stuff and stuff. So who knows what next week holds. You'll find out next week. Goodbye.